Yes, let's discuss nitration of uh, aromatic amines like aniline. Now, <coughs> nitration takes place, I, I discussed the first example that is uh, direct nitration, that is directly heating aniline with a nitrating mixture of concentrated nitric acid, sulfuric acid at 298 Kelvin. Fine. Now, the uh, nitration as nitric acid is an oxidizing agent also along with the nitrating agent so along with the, the nitrating uh, products we also get so many oxidation products here so the direct nitration of uh, aniline is not very much preferred to get the nitration products fine okay so now let's discuss the products formed in this case you see something unusual is there the para product is usually formed in a high amount major product is 51 percent but totally unexpected that ortho product is formed but just two percent the totally unexpected product formed is that meta nitro aniline which is 47 percent formed in this case because NH2 group present on the ring is ortho and para directing in nature so uh, the question arises that uh, why do we get here a uh, high percentage of meta nitro aniline in this case so if we discuss it then as we know these two are very good strong acids so aniline is under acidic conditions so when aniline is present under acidic condition so there will be initial acceptance of a proton from these acid and it result into formation of aniline ion aniline ion is formed and aniline ion formed this group is meta directing in it So, because of the formation of these of this aniline ion, the ultimate nitration as a result of this group gives you a meta product, right? So, aniline when undergo these undergo these condition, then there is normal nitration, but at the same time, so many molecules of aniline gets converted into aniline ion, which upon nitration gives you typical meta product which is unexpected in this case fine so this is the explanation why a meta product is formed right now in order to get normal ortho and para products we have to first acetylate aniline just like we have done in the case of domination so when it undergo acetylation using acetic anhydride or acid chloride so we have already discussed that uh, it becomes a uh, less activating group and uh, there is less availability of uh, lone pair of nitrogen and ring is not that much activated now once this acetylation is uh, done then further nitration is performed so this gives us the normal expected ortho and para products like this but firstly we get ortho nitro acetanolide para nitro acetanolide which can be converted into aniline by hydrolysis in acidic medium we will get NH2NO2 plus para nitro N. Right? Plus we get the byproduct two molecules of acetic acid. So you see here we have got normal para and ortho products in which para is the major product and ortho is the minor product. So this is the normal nitration of aniline so to get the normal expected product we first acetylate aniline and then further nitration takes place followed by 
hydrolysis to get the desired products. Fine. So this is how mono-substituted products are obtained. Now, <coughs> next, electrophilic substitution uh, reaction we'll discuss is sulfonation. So when aniline is heated with sulfuric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid at a temperature range 455 to 475 Kelvin, we initially uh, get a cation due to protonation of aniline that is this. This cation which we have got, this is anilinium hydrogen sulfate. So this cation is formed and further under the same condition this cation gives us para amino benzene sulfonic acid. This SO3H group along with benzene is called benzene sulfonic acid and if NH2 group is present, now it is, this is the principal functional group and this is acting as a substituent, that's why it is para amino benzene, para amino benzene sulfonic acid. Now this is the compound in which uh, both acidic as well as basic groups are present. One group is capable of uh, donating H plus and one group is capable of accepting H plus. So when such a condition is there in any compound, there exists a possibility of formation of zwitter ions. Zwitter ions are formed when one group loses H plus and other groups gain H plus in the same molecule. As a result, you get a zwitter ion that is this. So this is sulfenylic acid, this is also sulfenylic acid and also known as uh, zwitter ions. Zwitter ions are dipolar ions, positive and negative charge both it is present in the same molecule. So there exists a equilibrium like this more towards the uh, zwitter ion formation. So this is how it's very very important sulfonation in which zwitter ion formation takes place. Fine. Now <coughs> the last in aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction we will discuss Friedel Craft reactions. Friedel Craft reactions of uh, Amines. Now, because aniline is a base and the catalyst used in Friedel Craft electrophilic substitution reaction is uh, anhydrous aluminium chloride, which acts as a Lewis acid. This acts as a Lewis base. So uh, there is initial formation of a salt uh, between these two like this. Fine. So this salt is formed as a result of formation of this salt the availability of lone pair or nitrogen is not there. As a result the ring becomes uh, less sufficient with electrons. So that means electron density in the ring is decreased. As a result, electrophile takes a very little interest to attack on the benzene ring and substitution that is Friedel Craft alkylation, substitution by R group and Friedel Craft acylation, substitution by acyl group do not 
takes place. So, uh, usual question comes that why cradle graft reactions do not take place in uh,